So now we're going to speak to uh, Deva Huti, Devi, the uh, mother cow and her baby Rameshwari, which is right here. You cannot be successful in uh, growing without the help of the cow. The cow is the principle of prosperity and peace. And her dung and her urine and her milk and the products that you make with the milk are essential for agriculture. Because with the five products of the cow, which are uh, her urine, her dung, milk, yogurt, and cheese, you can make panchagavya and add a few herbs to it and let it ferment and it becomes an ideal for, uh, fertilizer as well as an ideal repellent for insects. So David is a wonderful, peaceful cow, and this is her child. We have seven Gujarati gear cows, original cows, purebred, and without their dung and urine, we would not be able to grow that lush green uh, foliage and vegetables that you've seen. And Prabhupada explained that uh, when you protect the cow and you respect Brahmins, you protect children, elders, and uh, also, uh, <clears throat> uh, so th those five uh, uh, citizens of the state, children, seniors, cows, women, etc., and Brahmins, then everything goes well in the society, and but especially protecting the cows and the Brahmins. So, without uh, the help of, of Mother Cow, uh, things would be not as nice as you see it. And because she is a representative of Surabi, the celestial spiritual cows in the spiritual world. And she becomes an element of prosperity, of peace, of happiness, and also psychologically associating with these cows you become very very uh, your stress goes away and you build up your confidence in nature and in and krishna's uh, mercy these cows are definitely representative of krishna in the sense that he is a cowherd boy he loves cows he protects them and that's what we do we'll never kill these cows we'll take care of them until they die naturally and the cow is worth more uh, alive than dead because regardless whether you have a cow or a bull you have the urine you have the dung etc and that is essential for uh, agriculture and for producing food so when you take care of the cows and you chant Hare Krishna uh, the rain comes in, in a regulated way the seasons change in a regulated way and everything becomes auspicious so that's the secret to becoming successful in self-sufficiency. Thank you very much. Now, of course, we dry the cow dung. We can use it for fuel. We can use it for uh, building uh, tiny houses. And we can use it for medicine. Uh, the cow urine of this particular cow, the gear cow, is special. It's been studied at Junagar University in, in, in uh, Gujarat. Uh, for over five years, and they validated what is written in the uh, Vedas that this particular cow, due to the hump and a special nerve in this hump, captures the energy of the sun like plants do in, uh, in photosynthesis and then potentiates or uh, empowers its urine, its dung, its milk, etc., and also. And this is the only breed that's proven produces 3 to 10 micrograms of pure gold in her urine. And it's basically the female urine. And the female, especially the young female urine, is the best for healing. Although Mata, Mata Devahuti's urine is also healing, but uh, the baby's urine is most propitious for healing all kinds of diseases like diabetes, and cancer and so forth. So we're very fortunate to have these cows. Now we have five more in the, in the big field. 
we might go and see them also. Thank you, David Huti, for being such a good girl. You see how peaceful she is? How friendly she is? She's a real mata, real mother. Thank you, David Huti. Thank you, Ramesh Reddy. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on, Ramesh Reddy. Come. She was born on Sri Ram Nomi. We named her Mahesh, Mahesh, Mahesh And she's a very beautiful cow. You can see how gorgeous she is. <laughs> Hare Krishna.